Hello everyone, today I'd like to show you guys how to upgrade your old computer such as a Windows Vista computer from Dell which I have in front of me uh, a Windows, uh, this is the Dell Studio Slim 54 uh, 540S uh, it came with the Windows Vista Home Premium 32-bit I'm gonna go ahead and do a clean install with uh, Windows 8 64-bit uh, if you want to see the unboxing of the, uh, the retail box um, Home Windows 8 Home Premium um, upgrade version it's in the description bar and you may go see it um, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do um, first and foremost back up all your data uh, I do not take any responsibility of you losing your data it is your responsibility and this is only only an instruction instructional video of how I did it and that's it uh, and uh, it it may just because it worked for me does not mean it'll work for you so take that into consideration um, so um, so if you agree to the terms please continue watching thank you um, so let's go ahead go ahead and get started first of all for most make sure all your components in your computer works so um, you know if, if you have a faulty hard drive um, replace it if you have a faulty CD drum drive CD C, uh, DVD ROM drive replace it uh, you know make sure everything works um, if if you have faulty components it will start giving you error uh, so the first thing that you're gonna do is turn on the computer and press F12 for the boot menu just continue pressing it, tapping it uh, once the boot menu comes up um, you know you have it um, insert the CD drive, the DVD drive into the um, the, C the DVD into the DVD drive and select where you want to boot from for me I want to boot from the DVD drive CD slash DVD and uh, so that's where I have it on mine yeah. USB uh, uh, DVD drive and the computer is going to look for Okay, and we have this, um, like the standard startup, Windows startup, uh, select your language, uh, time and uh, uh, currency format, uh, English, United States, and uh, uh, keyboard US. Let's go ahead and press next. And we're going to go ahead, if you want to repair your computer, uh, like like before let's say you have a you can't build, boot into your computer for the reason after you install it it says corrupt and if you want to repair that those corrupt files you can go to repair but we're doing a, a ins installation of new app new OS so let's go ahead and install and this is where we are going to enter the um, the CD key okay after you install enter your um, CD key uh, go ahead and accept the terms of Windows 8 Pro and what we're gonna do here you are know, upgrade install um, Windows and key file settings applications this is where if you want to update upgrade your um, from your Windows um, Vista to Windows uh, Windows 8 uh, but I have a 32 gig Windows Vistas because I want to take full advantage of the 60 gigs of RAM and the 64 bit processor I'm gonna go do a custom install um, reason for that is you can't go from a 32 bit Windows to a 64 bit upgrade you have to do a clean install and go from there um, so that's what we're gonna do and we have all these different partitions I'm going to delete all of them go to drive options if you want to delete uh, you should I highly recommend that's what I'm going to do go ahead delete you should have already backed up all your files um, and we're going to click new apply 
okay uh, Windows creates uh, 350 gigabytes of uh, 50 megabytes of a separate partition for its own files that's normal and you're gonna that's on partition 1 and you're gonna go continue with partition 2 and it says copying files So as you can see, it's um, the getting files ready for installation is done. Um, compared to Windows Vista, Windows 7, this has been a lot faster um, in doing the installation itself. So uh, it's just very quick. Um, Alright, the computer is starting. So the computer finally has started up. It's gonna ask you for uh, certain names. Um, so I don't know. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna put an express and a so uh, once your um, computer turns on and everything is um, everything starts working uh, you will need to um, you'll need to validate your uh, Windows 8 um, so since we did a custom um, installation not a uh, 
upgrade we did a clean install with the uh, product key um, it's not going to accept Windows 10 you are defrauding them so what we need to do is is um, is do a little registry edit so um, so it won't think that okay so we're gonna use instructions from uh, sevenforms.com and I'm gonna leave the links in the description bar and they have the full detail on how to do so and you can follow their instruction now I'm also gonna show you I already have mine um, validated but I just show you the instructions and you could go from there so Windows 8 could be a little confusing uh, in the beginning uh, for first time users um, since you don't have the start menu and you don't you don't know uh, where to go in certain places um, if you want these three icons up here uh, right click on your desktop go to uh, personalize and you could uh, change desktop icons and you could put all your icons your the computer your recycle bin your control panel if you want to put your user files and uh, network files you could do that okay and if you want to change your theme you could do that that's that's up to you but anyway uh, that will be easy access to your control panel and for us to go into the place that we need to go we're gonna go into um, uh, run and we're gonna click uh, R E G E D E D I T to go into the registry so again R E G E D I T on to run click OK and click yes and this opens up and what you want to do is follow you want to go into uh, Hickey local machine then go into software then go into Microsoft then go into Windows then go into um, current version then go into setup right then go into o o o b e and you will see media boot install double click on it and the value that's previously there will be zero oh, i'm sorry one the value previously going to be there is one we're going to change that to zero okay and click ok and exit then we're going to go back into uh we're going to go back into the left lower corner right click and we are going to bring up a command command prompt and you're gonna bring up command prompt with admin click yes and we're gonna type in a simple uh, command s l m g r space you're gonna put a dash then R E A R M and you're gonna press enter and it's gonna it should say um, command command enter successful something like that and that's it okay I already did it I'm not gonna do it um, so that's it that should validate uh, your Windows uh, 8 on your computer uh, thank you for watching if you have any question uh, please leave it in the comment section below please give us a thumbs up um, thank you very much